Hey, hey guys, happy Thursday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta go hella, hella quick, so I apologize if I'm going too quick. So, number one, if you are under 18, please do not watch these videos. These videos are not for kids at all. I make videos about my life, my struggles with mental health, addiction, how I'm doing in recovery, being a single parent, going through depression, anxiety, and all of the above, okay? My videos are never ever intended for young kids, okay? I just want to make that clear because, you know, I know sometimes like videos pop up, you guys, and I just do not want anybody young watching my videos. Um, I apologize, I'm super sweaty, I literally just left the gym, and like it's crazy how hot I am right now um I was trying to hurry at the gym because I had to pick up my daughter have like 50,000 things to do um but you guys I've made some progress and I just wanted to share that with you guys obviously every video you see I'm almost another person and I'm well aware of that it's my life <laughs> So yeah, if you're like, damn, this bitch is different every single time. I know, I fucking know, that's why. <laughs> but, and this is a Pink Floyd shirt, not a freaking, uh, but anyway. <laughs> so you guys, um, I've, I've made a lot of progress actually. I'm super proud of myself. I've made so much progress in one direction, but in the other direction it's like, mm -mm -mm. it is what it is. The other thing I wanted to mention quickly, because I don't want to give this person too much attention, but if you are my uh, somebody in my family and you're talking to my fucking, <laughs> I don't even want to say the name, but, you know, Nico and Neve's father, um, and you're saying, you know, you know, whatever you said, like, number one, I'm not going to ever take advice from somebody who's in your current situation, um, but uh, yeah, um, I will talk about my mom as much as I fucking want. It was my life. I lived it. And yeah, I can say whatever I want, you know? And I know for a fucking fact, my mom would be so fucking proud of me because guess what? I'm not in a motel on dope. I was once upon a time, but I'm not. I don't do any of those things. And another thing, if you think you're going to tell my kids about like, oh my gosh, your mom did this. I, I'm not worried about that. Like I'm fucking super honest with my kids obviously age appropriate but you know I don't ever lie to my kids about my addiction about what I did with my body I don't ever lie about that and I won't because you know it's part of my reality I'm not proud of what I did but it's part of my reality there's no fucking sense in lying it's all out there on the internet so yeah if you think you're gonna use any of the shit that I used to do against me no it ain't gonna work but Again, I'm really proud of myself, you guys. I've been trying to get off of this medication. I'm gonna make a whole video about that all on its own because I did make a video about the other meds that I was on previously. Um, Latuda, and then I don't know, Prozac or Paxil or some that is Oloft. But, uh, you know, it has been a journey. I have pretty bad ADHD, and when I make up my mind, I make up my mind, and that's it. And so I made up my mind one day, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And uh, I am really proud of myself because I did it. Um, I wanted to talk to the doctors, but you can't really do Incoming that. Incoming call. Ugh, because they don't, you know, they're no help. You know, doctors are just not helpful for me. Um, but yeah, you guys, like I said, it has been a journey to say the least um, because I did it so quickly. Excuse me. And one thing you're supposed to do is taper off of these medications slowly. And I really didn't do that, but, excuse me, sorry, I have a freaking gastritis, my bad. Um, but, so I did do it way too quick and I will admit to that, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm already ahead, so I'm not going to go backward now, you know what I mean? Um, and like I said, I want to make a video dedicated to that because that's its own video, you know what I mean? I could say so much about that, but um, I'm really, really proud of myself as far as binge eating goes. I haven't binged, you guys. Tomorrow will be three fucking weeks binge free, and you don't even know, like, 
you don't even know how happy I am to be binge free. I'm trying to practice intuitive eating and I will say it's not going great because I don't eat during the day and I normally don't eat until really late and so I need to start eating more. I was doing a protein shake or a protein bar but I've kind of stopped that the last week and I definitely don't like it. The thing is is that um, there's so many things, there's so many obstacles to it but I haven't binged and that's good. So anywho you guys, what else was I going to say? Um, as far as my children go, Lord, being a single parent is definitely a journey. It's not for the fucking week. I know that much. Um, and my mom didn't show me how to do any of the shit that I'm doing now. So I had to teach myself literally everything. And it's not been an easy road. I've went through the loss of my mom, the loss of my stepmom. You know, my stepmom just passed away in December, which I'm fucking still not over that shit. Like, oh, it kills me. Just because my stepmom was honestly, you know, really like nice to me after I got pregnant with Nevaeh and stuff. Anyway, um, but before then, no bueno, you know? Um, I lost so many people in my life and with addiction, one of the things that addicts do is use when, you know, you have a problem. And so, you know, I'm just really proud of myself and the life that I've been trying to build. Something that's really, really, really hindering me that I don't like talking too much about because so many of you guys attack me and are like, you're so pathetic, just pay. You know, you don't understand my circumstances or the situation. And I feel like the thing is very important. I feel like the way that everything has been and it, the way that, you know, the person went about it isn't, you know, hey, I want you to do this. It's more like, hey, vindictive and ha ha ha, bitch, you're going to pay. And that's what the messages all say. So because of that, you know what I mean? And like, anyways, you know, the incomes, all of there's so many different circumstances. And so it sucks because child support is not an easy thing. Like child support, you cannot, it, it's really hard for somebody to pay child support such a you know amount of child support when you're trying to take care of three other kids when you have health problems when you have all of these obstacles it's really really hard and you ha they'll take your license they'll take everything you know they don't give a fuck what your circumstances are you could have you could be you know dying and child support's like i don't give a fuck give me my money you know so something that honestly is really 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 hindering me in growing and going forward with everything um, cause I could have this YouTube channel way bigger. I could have put effort into this. I don't because I can't get paid for it. So I don't get paid for TikTok. I don't get paid for Facebook. None of that. I did get paid from Facebook three times, like 40 to 60 bucks, but then I turned it off because it, it's not worth it to me. They'll take it all. And I would rather not have anything than have them take everything. Do you understand? It's very, very complicated because it just fucks up everything. So it's made my life very, very, very hard to live because it just causes so many issues. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys have a good day. Sorry, I forgot I gotta go grab my kid. God bless you guys. I'm super proud of myself. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope everything's going good for you guys. If you guys need any support or just wanna talk, feel free to message me, facebook.com forward slash lovingmyboys, B-O-Y-Z. All right, or I'm on TikTok, Jamie's Life. Um, all right, bye.